Hi guys, so today Kelsey and I are going to be showing you guys two different wash and goes using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil product line. This line has so many different products to choose from. So Kelsey and I are going to be showing you guys how versatile they can be when doing a wash and go. And these products are also available for purchase at Target. Hi guys, it's Kendra. So first I'm going to be starting at the sink because I do like to wash my hair at the sink instead of the shower. And I'm going to be going in with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow Shampoo. I'm just wetting my hair here and I'm just going to massage this shampoo into my scalp. And I love this shampoo. It does a really good job at cleansing my hair without stripping it because it does not contain sulfates, of course. The entire line does not contain sulfates or mineral oil or any of the bad stuff, which I do love, so that's a plus. But I love this shampoo. As you can see, it does a really good job at getting the job done and just cleaning my hair, but it was not dry when I rinsed this out. It was still moisturized. So I'm just gonna rinse that out. And as you guys noticed, I did shampoo my scalp only because I just like to focus on the scalp and I just let the shampoo run through the ends as I'm rinsing it out. Next, I'm gonna go in with the conditioner and this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow Conditioner. I love this conditioner, it's really moisturizing and it detangles my hair really well. I'm just finger raking that through my hair and I do like to use a regular conditioner before I do my hair mask just because I feel like it preps the hair really well before you go in to deep condition your hair. And another good thing about this line is that the main ingredient is Jamaican black castor oil which is really good because it does promote healthy hair growth which is a plus for me because if you guys haven't noticed I did cut about an inch of my hair off because it was very damaged and it needed to go so that is a plus for me. So here I've just rinsed out the Jamaican black castor oil mask and made my hair super soft and it's one of my favorites. So next I'm just going to move right to the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner. You guys have been seeing me use this as well as the hair mask for quite a while. This detangles my hair so well. It has amazing slip. The texture is really lightweight but it's also really moisturizing at the same time. And I'm just finger raking this into my hair and then I'm just going to smooth it out just because that helps to define my curls a little bit more. And after I'm done applying the leave-in to each section, I just clip it away until I go back to that section. And I am going to be using the lock method for my wash and go just because I've been loving that lately. It moisturizes my curls a ton and I feel like it makes a big difference with how my hair feels when it dries. So after I've applied a generous amount of leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna be taking the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Serum. This is a very lightweight serum, but it's really moisturizing also. I'm gonna be smoothing that in over the entire section. I'm not sectioning the oil just because I feel like I need it to section the leave-in conditioner the most because that is like my base product. And the other two products, I just smooth over the entire section. But I love this serum, it made my hair really soft and not greasy. And another thing I wanted to mention about this line is really good for heat styled hair, natural hair, and chemically processed hair. And I do use heat on my hair, so this is also really good for me. And it's also going to help with the heat damage that I have in this section of my hair in the front that's really annoying. So after I'm done with the oil, I'm going to be applying the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Smoothie. I love this stuff. I did not think I would like anything better than the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, but I love this smoothie just as much. It's supposed to smooth and define, which is exactly what I needed. So after I'm done applying the smoothie, I'm just going to scrunch a little bit more oil into my ends just to add a little bit of extra moisture because that is the driest part of the hair. And I am going to be air drying my hair. I don't like how my hair turns out when diffusing, so I'm just going to air dry that. And 10,000 hours later, this is my hair. As you guys can see, I have a lot of shrinkage and it doesn't make it any better that I cut an inch of my hair off. Like I said, because it was damaged, but my hair is not this short realistically as you guys just saw when it was wet. 
So I'm just going to be smoothing my hair out with a little bit more of that serum and just kind of like scrunching out the product a little bit just to soften it up. And after I'm done doing that, I'm just going to flip my hair to the side because this is how I like to wear it. And I do like how my hair turned out. It turned out very soft and moisturized, which I love, but it doesn't feel greasy or weighed down or anything like that. So I love this combo. Really soft and defined. And yeah, here's Kelsey's wash and go for you guys. Hey guys, it's Kelsey here. So of course I'm just going to be starting out with co-washing my hair and I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner to co-wash. This is a really good conditioner to co-wash with because it has really good slip. It also contains shea butter, of course, peppermint and apple cider vinegar. And peppermint oil is really good for the scalp and apple cider vinegar is a really good natural cleanser for the hair. So I love this conditioner to cleanse my hair with. And of course you guys know I always deep condition after I cleanse and I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask. So the first styling product that I'm going to be using is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Styling Lotion. And this has really, really good slip. It's super lightweight. If you don't like heavy products, then this product would be perfect for you. Like I said, the product is really lightweight, but it still gives your hair the moisture that your hair needs when doing a wash and go. And you can use as much of this as you want to and you won't get product buildup, which is great. So I used a lot of this. So I am going to be using this as my leave-in for my lock method in today's wash and go. Okay, so now that I've applied my leave-in, I'm going to go ahead and apply my oil, of course. And I'm going to be using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Serum. So I do apply quite a bit of this because this oil is really lightweight as well. So I apply this how I always apply my oil. I just basically mush my curls together and apply the oil all the way from the roots all the way to my ends. So following the serum, I'm gonna be using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Lock and Braid Butter. This is for locks and braids, of course, but I'm using it as my cream because it pretty much is the same texture as a cream and it has a really nice thick texture that I think is perfect for finishing your wash and go and adding some hold to the hair. So I just applied the serum and the butter to each section of my hair, making sure that I'm coating each strand. Okay guys, now that I have all of the products in my hair, I'm just going to air dry for about 12 hours. Okay guys, so it's the next day and I'm just gonna go back in with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Serum. And I usually go back in with an oil if my hair is a little bit crunchy to scrunch out the crunch, but this day my hair really wasn't crunchy at all. These products dried super, super soft in my hair, so that was really good that I didn't have any crunch or product residue. So the last product that I'm going to be using is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Edge Treatment Gel. And I really like this. It was really lightweight and really smooth. And this is really good to use if your edges are thinning. So you can kill two birds with one stone and smooth down your edges that you do have left and then grow back your non-existent edges. So that pretty much wraps up my wash and go with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil products. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and try out some of these products. They're all amazing and super inexpensive. And of course, they're made with natural and certified organic ingredients. 
we will leave a link down below for you guys to check out. Once again, we hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see y'all next time.